Could an unexpected home repair bill throw your finances into a tailspin? Happens to a lot of families each year. Are there ways to protect yourself? We'll answer those questions as we visit with Elizabeth Dotson of Homezada.com on the Dollar Stretcher interview. Elizabeth Dodson is the co-founder of online home management software company, Homezada.com. The site uh, is dedicated to helping you get organized, be better prepared, and save money managing your home. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Gary. Now, I, I've owned a home myself for many years, uh, but how important is home maintenance to the average family? It's very important. Most people don't realize that managing a home if not done properly, can actually cost you more money in major repairs or replacements of a certain equipment. The other thing that happens too is, um, is your home healthy? You know, in addition to financially being healthy, is it physically healthy so that you're not getting um, problems in your air? For instance, most people forget to change the air filters, and something as simple as changing our, our excuse me, air filters can actually determine whether you have a healthy home or not. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I know we, we tend to think of things uh, from a money aspect here, uh, and I think of the health of the uh, HVAC system uh, by not replacing those filters. Absolutely. And we'll, that um, those filters being clogged will actually hurt those HVA systems, which I talked about earlier, is the replacement cost for those systems would be um, much greater and sometimes it's in the, I, I would say, 20% greater in terms of just annual maintenance. It's something very, very minor that you need to do just to change those air filters. Yeah, I know. Uh, the last time I had to replace a fan on, uh, on one, uh, I, I believe it cost me around $250, uh, and a filter is $2. Uh, so it, 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 makes, it makes a big difference. Uh, yeah, the cost of repairs versus the cost of replacement uh, is not a percentage, it's a multiple. Mm-hmm. And now, one thing I, I, I know, I've known, uh, and it seems that most people have really two problems with maintaining their homes. One, knowing what to do, and then two, having the money to do it. Do you find that that's generally true? That is true. Um, being, just I'll use my own personal example, being an East Coaster by um, birth and growing up and et cetera, and then moving to the West Coast, there are different materials that are used. And so just in that sense, I was very familiar with how to take care of my home on the East Coast, unfamiliar with how to take care of my home because it was new sets of materials on the West Coast. A lot of first-time home buyers also struggle with knowing what they need to do to take care of their home. And what we do at Homes Auto is we actually help them along the way by giving them maintenance tips so that they can actually get started on. Here are the most common maintenance tips in any home anywhere across the United States. And then these are the things you need to do. Now start establishing a calendar of when they need to be completed. And they could be minor costs like changing air filters to a um, little bit of labor activities like maybe flushing in a hot water heater. Fantastic. Now, I know uh, I've seen some figures, and it varies obviously by uh, home to home, location, uh, uh, and age of the home. Uh, but is there any way for, for a homeowner to estimate how much they, they should budget for home maintenance each year? Yes. Generally, when you have a house that's at a particular age, it depends on uh, the age of the home, but on average, you should be spending between 2 and 12% on annually on maintenance for your home. And obviously, the newer the home, the younger the home, the less maintenance because everything is um, fresh. It's new. It needs less, less activity going on. The older the home, there is more maintenance you need to conduct on that home because it's just older. And the, the equipment that you have actually has to take a longer time to work in some cases, because it's just old. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, and that. Now, uh, I know uh, you you co-founded Homezada.com. Uh, tell us a little bit about the site and what uh, what you're trying to accomplish with it. So yeah, the site was created out of my own personal need. It it happened during a time when I was traveling a lot for work, and I really need to understand how to take care of my house, both all of the possessions in it, the equipment, even home improvement projects, because we had some of those as well. And one of the things I recognized was I couldn't find a location to take care of all this information. And what Homesada does, it allows you to take care of your home maintenance, your home inventory, and your home improvement projects all in one place, thereby tracking all the finances associated with all those activities as well, both annually, both per project, and then also the quantity of um, 
items you have in your house because obviously you want to make sure you're insured as well. But when we created this, everything is in one place. It's safely, securely um, on the cloud. You can access the information anywhere and you don't need to, let's say, there's air filters. You'll need to take that air filter with you to the store. You actually can put your sizes inside the system, go to the store and say, this is the size air filter I need. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, Elizabeth, we thank you for uh, for joining us and uh, sharing some wisdom uh, uh, with our our viewers today. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll export the, this video to our YouTube channel uh, and also post it on the dollarstretcher.com. And in both places, we'll have links to homesada.com. Uh, and we invite uh, all our viewers uh, to come see us again and take care of those home maintenance projects. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.